between the school reform plan and a $66 million budget deficit. You've heard a lot about Cleveland schools lately, but what you probably haven't heard about is the eight high school seniors who are getting an opportunity of a lifetime tonight and the East Tech graduate who is providing it. This is a story about giving back to the community, to the school district, and to his children, Deb. That's absolutely right, and as soon as you see this story, you will understand what we mean. Tim Isaac remembers what it was like growing up in Cleveland. Well, I'm the youngest of 10 kids. I grew up in the inner city in the projects, and I can remember going, visiting the rec centers, and there were adults there that had the compassion and concern that cared about us. Someone showed him they cared, and now he's giving that back to the East Tech High School seniors in his Cleveland Youth Empowerment Organization scholarship program. All right. Clifton Mays is one of them. He and the other students in Isaac's program left for a tour of North Carolina colleges today. It's the first time Clifton has flown. In fact, this is a year of many first-time opportunities. I'll be like the first person out of my family to graduate high school. Be the first, so like it, it make me it make me feel proud. And then go to college and like do it because I, I just it's like it's like so much emotion. I can't hold it in, you know. You know, I'm very, very, very proud of him. Very proud of him. Clifton's most recent GPA is a 3.7. He's already received four college acceptance letters. Wherever he goes, he'll get a $500 scholarship from Tim Isaac once he completes the program. And people gave to me, and uh, I never forgot that. And Clifton says it won't stop here. When he's able, he'll do the same for someone else. It's not a may, it's a, a will. It's a will. It's, it's going to happen because I feel everybody needs a chance. Now, Tim Isaac has had this scholarship program for the past 11 years, but this is the first time it's included an out-of-state college tour. He told me he hopes to expand the program next year to another school, try to reach twice as many students. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.